welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fenya, but you could call me Fen. And today I am going to give you guys my braid out routine. Now my hair is freshly washed. The product I'm using for today is Miel's Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle. Oh my gosh, this smells so, so good. It has a very light scent. I actually have gotten compliments from wearing this in my head. This has a semi to deep definition. So it's not gonna make your hair kind of crusty like a custard, but it's not gonna make your hair like soft and poofy like a really thick butter. But it does the job of moisturizing your hair. I usually leave this in my head for about, I, I usually style my hair with this and I don't have to re-moisturize it for about a week. So that's really good. And my braid out routine is really, really simple. This is what I'm working with. I kind of combed out my hair. Usually my curls clump together, but for some reason I was like, let me comb out my hair while it was still wet. My key to a really good braid out is making sure that my hair is semi damp. Like if I'm reapplying a moisturizer to an old braid out, I kind of want to mist the hair with water to make sure that it reactivate some of the product that's already there before I apply some more. It really just depends on how thick your hair is, but each section of hair that's going to be braided up should be small to medium. I already smushed it on my fingers, but this is about how much hair, how much moisturizer I'm gonna use on one medium sized section of my hair. Now, a lot of people, if you're heavy handed, you want to make sure that you don't put way too much product in your hair because it'll cause your braid out to look flaky and mushy throughout the week. If you ever use a product and then later on in that week, you kind of get like this dandruff effect. That's because you're using way too much product. And look, look what the semi deep defining cut, like what is this twisting souffle? did to my hair and I didn't even use too much product. Another reason a, your twist out or braid out might not be working for you, it could be because you're not putting, you're not shampooing your hair well enough and your hair has like a lot of product build up on it. Cause if your hair has product build up on it and then you go to walk, like you go to add more product, it doesn't act the way it needs to act in order for you to have a successful style. And now I'm just twisting the ends. I always twist my ends. Cause when you try to take out this like really small braid at the end, you're gonna cause frizz and stuff and not everybody likes frizz and it just messes up the whole bottom part and that way when you take out your braid out you'll have the bottom all curled up like this okay so i'm on my last braid in the front of my hair i have two twists and the reason being the texture in the front of my hair is just different from the rest and i kind of like the way my bangs or like that bang section of my head looks when it's twisted rather than when it's braided because when it's twisted it just scrunches up or it shrinks up more yeah i'm long overdue for a trim right now but i'm just basically trying to stretch it out i'm trying to get like diana ross on these girls and when it gets like that i'm trying to dye it brown like a deep brown with blonde highlights like an ashy i would insert a picture from my pinterest because i think it's gonna come out really really cute on me especially like i kind of have like this brown skin tone with yellow under um yeah yellow undertone so we'll see how that goes but these are the braids i kind of did like a two in the back five in the middle and then i got four on top okay it is a new day it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life and I'm feeling good. Okay, so these are what my braids are looking like the next day. As you can see, the twists in the front are giving much bang energy. This is gonna look really cute. Using a flat portion of my finger, this portion to press down and release the braid. And then usually I kind of like find two pieces and pull. I don't know, like, I gotta see. I'm gonna show you how I, how I do it. It's like this, yeah, like you just pull it like that and then it unravels like most of the whole thing. 
this is what the for first portion i'm gonna put the camera back on this side after i do each row or a particular section before i start moving on the braids that's on top of it start separating it make sure not to keep pulling it like this because that motion causes frizz and also causes it to like separate too too much and honestly this shouldn't take no more than like 10 15 minutes so but as you can see i finished taking them out and i put two ponytails just to stretch it out just a wee 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 bit um i don't have a dryer because my dog ate through the cord so we're just gonna have to work with what we got my first step is going to be just fluffing it. Gonna hold it down like this and just like fluff it out like that. Like I would a pick, like I would a pick. So we're just gonna pull it downward like this and just start like going like that to the hair so that it can just fall more downward. And then we're gonna go back and pick the actual hair strands and just playing with it a little bit, making sure that the hair kind of, the comb kind of just goes through like this, and I'm not going like this. You don't want to do this motion. You kind of want to just like stab it. So right now, I'm gonna just give you some tips that I use when I'm wearing a braid out or a twist out that's gonna help with the longevity of your hair. When you're going to bed at night, make sure that you put your hair into like two ponytails or four ponytails and put your bonnet on. You don't have to keep rebraiding or retwisting your hair at night. That like, if you're doing that, you're just causing too much manipulation and it defeats the purpose. Right now, this is like more of a shrunken state, but as the days go by, it's gonna get longer and longer. If it's gonna be a really hot day, you live in Florida like I do, or you just live somewhere where the climate is really hot, always have a rubber band on hand. You never know when it's gonna rain or like the humidity is just gonna mess up your whole hairstyle. That way you can throw it into a puff like at the date like that way you could throw it into a puff or if you're not into puffs or you don't like it get like a satin wrap and keep it in your car so that way you can tie your hair up if it rains on it or something happens if it is humid outside and you you like your braid out but you just know it's going to shrink on you i like to do styles where i could do like pit that looks good shrinking kind of like a mohawk so like when the mo when you have your hair in a mohawk for some reason it just looks good i don't know but that is all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how i have a long lasting braid out if you kind of want to see how my braid out looks throughout the week i probably can mm, i might i may or may not include some clips of my braid out throughout the week but i hope you have an amazing week i hope you bloom into the person that you want to be and thank you for watching bye